Saturday, August 19th, 2023, evening edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good evening, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Jeter Pennings. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News and AGNDD, also known as IntelliReport. I will be assisted by my AI-generated colleagues in summarizing the news in today's headlines. Rich men north of Richmond tops conservative charts. Pig kidney successfully transplanted in human body. Apple watch bands harbor bacteria, study finds. Asterisk NSYNC to reunite for new song and trolls band together. Ford reveals powerful Mustang GTD with 800 horsepower and more. But first, this day in history. August 19th in history. August 19th, 295 B.C. The first temple to Venus, the Roman goddess of love, beauty, and fertility, is dedicated by Quintus Fabius Maximus Gurgis during the Third Samnite War. Today's obituaries. Gary A. Day, brief Wikipedia summary. This person, a former English rugby union player known for his career with Leicester Tigers and the national team, has passed away at the age of 78. Gloria Coates, brief Wikipedia summary. This person was an American composer known for her post-minimalist music featuring canonic structures and glissandos. She was also a painter, creating abstract expressionistic works. Coates was regarded as one of the greatest female symphonists, expressing deep emotion and intensity in her compositions. Alex Cole, brief Wikipedia summary. This person, a former American professional baseball outfielder, passed away at the age of 58. He played for teams such as the Pittsburgh Pirates, Cleveland Indians and Minnesota Twins, known for his speed and stolen base abilities. Gianni Ferlenghi, brief Wikipedia summary, this person. The late this person was a former professional racing cyclist from Italy who participated in three Tour de France races. Howard James Hubbard, brief Wikipedia summary. This person, an American Roman Catholic prelate, passed away at the age of 84. He served as the Bishop of the Diocese of Albany from 1977 to 2014 and was known for his progressive views and social justice advocacy. He faced allegations of sexual misconduct in the past but was cleared of those accusations. Ron Cephas Jones, brief Wikipedia summary. This person, an American actor known for his roles in This Is Us, Luke Cage and Mr Robot, has passed away at the age of 66. He won Emmy Awards in 2018 and 2020. Carlo Mazzone, brief Wikipedia summary. This person, an Italian football player and manager, has died at the age of 86. Mazzone had an extensive career in football, playing for Roma and managing several teams including Ascoli, Fiorentina and Bologna. He is considered one of the best coaches in Italian football history. Vaclav Patedl. Brief Wikipedia summary. This person, a Slovak musician and composer known for his work with the band Elan, passed away at the age of 68. The cause of his death has not been disclosed. General News. Ford unveils 800 HP race-inspired Mustang GTD, Jalopnik. Ford is launching a street-legal, ultra-high-performance Mustang. The 2025 Ford Mustang GTD developed alongside its Le Mans GT3 car. The Mustang GTD, which boasts an estimated 800 horsepower from a supercharged 5.2-liter V8 engine, is designed with aerodynamics in mind and will cost $300,000. Asterisk NSYNC expected to reunite for new song and Trolls Band together. Source exclusive... Entertainment Tonight. The upcoming third installment of the DreamWorks Trolls franchise, Trolls Band Together, hints at a reunion of the boy band Asterisk NSYNC through the character of Branch, voiced by band member Justin Timberlake. 
The film is expected to feature surprise roles by other Asterisk NSYNC members and a new song, their first since 2001. Hospital bosses ignored months of doctors' warnings about Lucy Letby. BBC. The medical director discusses their commitment to maintaining safety in the baby unit, supporting staff, and advocating for thorough reviews and investigations. They also express their willingness to assist in an inquiry examining preceding events to a trial. India's Chandrayaan-3 snaps close-up photos of moon ahead of landing try video, space.com. India's Chandrayaan-3 probe is preparing for its historic moon landing attempt. The probe, launched on July 14th, has successfully entered lunar orbit and separated from its propulsion module. It has been capturing images of the moon's surface, including specific craters. The landing attempt will occur near the lunar south pole. Business news. FDA approves Regeneron's antibody for rare immune disease, resolves manufacturing issues for a Flibercept. Endpoints News. The FDA has approved Regeneron's pozolimab, marketed as Viapause, the first treatment for the rare hereditary immune disease, Chapel disease. Available to patients this quarter, it treats adults and children aged one and older with this potentially life-threatening condition. Union says it supports Cleveland Cliffs in possible U.S. steel takeover. Trib Live. U.S. Steel is potentially being taken over by Cleveland Cliffs with talks intensifying. The United Steelworkers Union will only support the acquisition if made by the Cleveland-based steel producer. Science News. Poland signs agreement to fly astronaut on Axiom Space ISS mission, Space News. Poland has become the second European Space Agency, ESA member state, to agree to send an astronaut on a private mission to the International Space Station, ISS. The agreement was signed with Axiom Space, a private spaceflight company, but details about the astronaut or the mission timeline haven't been disclosed yet. Dinosaur embryo picture among nine spectacular winners in nature competition. Newsweek. The article showcases the winning and runner-up photos from a nature photography competition featuring images of zombie fungi and whale necropsies from various global locations. NASA has repaired its mobile launcher, so let's map out the path to Artemis II. Ars Technica. NASA's mobile launch platform used for the Artemis I mission has returned to Kennedy Space Center for preparations for Artemis II, the first manned mission of the Artemis program. The platform underwent repairs following damage from the first launch and will now undergo four months of testing. The Artemis II mission, scheduled for November 2024, will take astronauts around the moon. A poem about today's science news in the style of Emily Dickinson. A script inked in Poland, a glow on Axiom's mission they bestow, a space tale in the luminary skies, their law written in the cosmic ties. Trapped in stone, a vision of yore, a dinosaur small, unseen before, wins the acclaim both near and far. Nature's artifact, a timeless star. In NASA's realm, ardor anew, the launcher repaired, its path to strew. To Artemis too, the journey fast, in the heart of the cosmos, a vision vast. Three tales distinct yet intertwined. In the cosmic dance their fates designed as the universe unfurls its endless scroll in rhythm with the celestial toll. Health News. Pig Kidney works in donated body for over a month in step toward animal human transplants. Euronews. Surgeons from NYU Langone Health successfully transplanted a pig kidney into a brain dead man and it functioned normally for over a month. This experiment is a critical step towards the use of animal organs in transplant surgery. The pig used was genetically modified to better match human bodies, marking the longest a pig kidney has functioned in a human. Apple Watch bands are breeding grounds for bacteria. 9 to 5 Mac. A study by Florida Atlantic University found that 95% of Apple Watch bands are contaminated with potentially dangerous bacteria. The most common bacteria is Staphylococcus SPP found on 85% of bands. Researchers also found Pseudomonas aeruginosa and E. coli bacteria on 30% and 60% of bands respectively. The study advised regular sanitization, especially after workouts. Entertainment news. 
How Oliver Anthony's Rich Men North of Richmond became a chart-topping conservative anthem. CNN. Oliver Anthony's song, Rich Men North of Richmond, has gone viral, hitting the top of Apple Music's Top 100 USA chart and iTunes' Top 40 US Country chart. The song criticizes politicians and welfare exploitation and has been embraced by notable conservatives. Anthony, a Virginia factory worker, gained fame quickly with his working class anthem garnering millions of views on social media in less than a week. Is Hollywood suffering from its casting controversies? BBC News. Susan Sarandon sues over extensive problems with $2 an eco dream home. The Guardian. Susan Sarandon is suing de Grenier Contracting and Property Management over alleged problems with her $2 eco-friendly Vermont home. The lawsuit claims 47 issues, including mold and unfinished work, and accuses the firm's owner of misrepresenting his qualifications and overcharging. Sarandon seeks unspecified damages for breach of contract, unjust enrichment, and fraudulent misrepresentation. Now, a couple of dad jokes for you. Why couldn't the lifeguard save the hippie? He was too far out, man. Why was the strawberry sad? Its parents were in a jam. Hope you enjoyed today's AI-generated News Digest Daily, AGNDD and Telereport. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time to the future of news. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.